Good morning, time wasters. This here is my Union Sapoy. Perhaps my favorite bicycle at the moment. It almost fell there because it had a shitty kickstand. And try not to uh, get annoyed with those chickens. They're trying to mess up my recordings all morning. I had to bribe them with some uh, grain. Now that the uh, bulk of the chickens has moved on with their day to the other side of the barn, let's try and finish uh, this uh, shit show. So like I said, this here is my Union Savoy, my favorite uh, bicycle at the moment. And I don't believe I ever made a video about it. So let's uh, change that. I believe this bicycle is from somewhere in the uh, 70s. And it is almost uh, perfect. But there are a few issues. You already saw me use this flimsy kickstand. And that's the uh, main issue that I want to fix today. So let's flip the bicycle upside down and start bicycle tinkering. After uh, twisting the uh, wonderful sounding ultra bell out of the way, I flipped the uh, bicycle upside down. And now I can replace the, this uh, kickstand. And as you can see, this kickstand has a narrow base plate. And that is kind of surprising because it is a uh, gazelle thing. So I'm thinking maybe uh, Union had this frame made by the uh, gazelle company. But yeah, I'm not sure. I'm planning to replace this flimsy stamped uh, metal piece kickstand with this uh, solid aluminium one that I got from the green, the mostly green Batavas bicycle. And I hope it's long enough and uh, easy to fit. But I think it should be okay. This is a 13 millimeter nut. Let's hope it's not stuck. Not at all. It actually turns quite easy. The other end of the bolt doesn't have a hole or a... Um, well, I cannot grab this with a spanner. So it will not be used again. It wouldn't be long enough for this uh, kickstand anyway. I'm leaving the uh, green paint as a reminder. And I did wire brush this uh, kickstand because there was a lot of uh, white aluminium uh, corrosion on it. Not uh, that uh, that really matters because it is a solid kickstand and it will survive for a long time. I love maintenance free parts and I pity the people that uh, that keep cleaning their bicycles day in day out. A bicycle is for using, not for uh, polishing. There are better things to do with your time. I had to get the uh, correct Allen key. And I believe this one is fitting. So let's quickly nip this up and flip the bicycle and see uh, how this uh, looks. Hopefully the kickstand will be long enough, but I think it should be. It's not hitting the uh, crank, so we're good. Perfect. A lot more solid than that flimsy stand piece of crap. Now let's replace this uh, Chinesium saddle. I must admit that this uh, this saddle is uh, very comfortable to sit on. Probably a lot better than uh, most of the Brook saddles that I ever used. But I did find a nice, uh, almost new Brooks leather saddle, so I'm going to install that. There's some damage on this seat post. I think somebody hammered on this thing. So... It's probably a good idea to uh, put some lubrication on here, because I don't want this thing to seize up uh, permanently. It isn't seized up at the moment, 
because I was able to change the saddle height. But I might need to install the, the saddle first to get some uh, grip. And here's that uh, Brooks B66 uh, S leather saddle that I took from the uh, mostly green Batavas bicycle. And of course this uh, lock strap clamp whatever is being a bitch. I might have to use a hammer. Man I hate these things. But the uh, damage. Ah there it goes. On the top probably also didn't help. I think this the saddle might be higher. But I'll clamp it down, take it out for a test ride, and uh, then uh, adjust it to the uh, height that I need. At least these uh, nuts take a normal 13 uh, millimeter spanner. No uh, imperial shit. Thank God for that. Some of these uh, Brooks saddles have only one uh, nut on the, on the side. This one has two. So I will try to um, tighten them up equally. Hopefully they, uh, the clamp will not uh, crush the uh, C-tube, the uh, cell post, or whatever this uh, piece of uh, tube is uh, called. Okay, now let's try and see if I can uh, move the seat post. Yep, the seat post is definitely loose, no problems. But I will spray on a bit of uh, WD-40, it shouldn't hurt. It's also good rust prevention. Maybe later I will actually clean the bicycle because it is a bit um, dusty but yeah it's not my favorite hobby to clean uh, shit so I loosened up the clamp again because it felt like uh, this clamp was uh, denting or pushing in the uh, C-tube and I'm not sure how this thing was uh, meant to work if it uh, is supposed to be uh, butted up against the top of the seat tube on the, on the back here or if it is uh, supposed to slide over the seat post. On my uh, Gazelle bicycle with a uh, Brooks B66 saddle it is uh, sliding nicely over the uh, top of the seat post so this uh, top here is protruding out of this uh, clamp. I really hate the design of this clamp it it messes up your C tube. Maybe I should grind uh, a little bit of uh, metal away from the back side here so it will slide over the C tube uh, a bit more easy. Because the way it is like now it will probably uh, screw up my C tube even more than it already is. When I'm turning the uh, the saddle you can see that the clamp is uh, no longer sitting flush against the C-tube. And that is probably because it already has some damage. Maybe I can uh, work it down a bit more with a hammer. But at this angle from where I'm standing I will definitely have to grind a little bit of uh, metal away here. Hopefully Brooks has uh, improved the uh, design of this clamp in newer uh, saddles because they are definitely very expensive for um, shit like this. Well I had to move uh, to the other side of the barn doors because there was water falling from the sky again. Um, I did grind away a little bit of material probably not enough but now I'm going to try and hammer this uh, clamp strap lock whatever over the uh, seat post I got here a dowel pin or 
Not sure what it is, but it looks like a dowel pin and a hammer. Let's see if this works. Yeah, there it goes. So when you're installing a saddle like this, you really need to pay attention that this uh, strap, lock, clamp, whatever, is fully uh, over the top of the seat post. Otherwise, when you clamp it down, it can really damage the seat post. I almost forgot, but then I remembered. I'm tightening up these nuts equally. It's too bad that it started to rain, because I was kind of looking forward to taking a test ride with this uh, saddle. Uh, well, maybe it will uh, dry up later, but I don't really want to use this uh, bicycle in the rain. Because I want to keep it nice. So only use it on sunny days. Now I will probably have to um, extend the uh, seat post a little bit because that uh, the lock, strap, clamp, whatever it uh, is sitting a lot lower now but at least uh, we already know that the seat post is loose So that's probably perfect. And you will never know that it isn't perfect. Because in this video, right now, it is perfect. Let's have a look at the bicycle. I think uh, this looks pretty good. A lot nicer than that Chinesium saddle. Although it was uh, sitting very nice. But don't worry, I will find a uh, place for it. But it will probably take a few hundred kilometers before this thing is uh, fully adjusted to my ass. And hopefully I will not notice this uh, pimple when sitting on this saddle. But we will see. That brown B66 saddle that's on my uh, Ultra bicycle is now sitting a whole lot better than when I first got the bicycle. With the uh, saddle replaced I should now uh, try and find a more period correct lock. I should also uh, replace this uh, scruffy looking nut of the groom is coming off. I'm also thinking about replacing these uh, grips. They are rather thin and not that uh, comfortable. They're also a bit short. Actually the whole handlebar is a bit short. Uh, the uh, the uh, the bell is very close to my hand, but there are uh, some benefits. As a thumb amputee, it still should work. Shut up, chicken. But I'm also thinking about maybe I can extend the uh, handlebar just a bit, a few centimeters, to create more. Uh, space for a uh, longer and thicker fatter grip that uh, might improve the quality of the ride a bit but yeah these are period correct and the cream color is uh, original I might just uh, leave it like this for now but I will try and find a uh, period correct bell although this ultra one is uh, sounding great it has a wonderful sustain alright that's it for now this video is probably more than long enough, so like, subscribe, yada yada yada, and uh, to be continued. Looks like the original kickstand was already damaged here, and in time it would no longer be able to keep the uh, bicycle standing upright. Yeah, these things really suck, and in time they would uh, turn into a nice brown color. I guess I could try and uh, weld this. It will probably burn off the uh, sink coating. 
but it may be good practice. Well, that uh, looks very acceptable for me. Although I probably should also have welded the other side. So here's that uh, mostly green Batavis bicycle again. The bicycle that gave me that nice saddle and kickstand. And in return, I gave it this, uh, this terrible kickstand. It probably has the same issue as uh, that uh, kickstand I just welded. Looks like this bicycle is also having a uh, flat tire. I don't think you can see this, but the sun is uh, starting to shine. But the wind is also picking up. But later on, I can definitely go for a test ride. First, I will uh, replace this uh, kickstand. Because with a kickstand like this, nobody wants to have this bicycle. Damn, I used a way too long nut bolt. And of course it is not fitting in this kickstand. I couldn't find the original bolt from the Union bicycle, so I got this uh, Allen head bolt, which is probably better. Because the other bolt would just keep uh, spinning. This bicycle has a wide uh, based uh, kickstand base. And this is a narrow kickstand, so positioning this thing is somewhat awkward. And of course, the bolt that I got is a bit long. Installed. That's probably a lot better than that rusty old thing. Perfect. And it will be even better after I have mended the tire. And here's that rusty old kickstand. And I don't uh, believe this one can be welded. It's a different design. And there's just too much play on the uh, pivoting point. Sure, I could pinch it in the uh, vise, but why bother? This can go into the uh, scrap metal container for a one-way trip to China. Right now it's really time for my uh, daily exercise ride. Well, as you can see, I'm out for my test ride. And I'm taking the uh, scenic route. But I just hit a bit of a pothole and the uh, saddle pivoted towards the rear and that's for the second time it already happened uh, at home on the dirt road I guess uh, that stupid strap clamp lock whatever is still too loose or maybe clamp is uh, denting the uh, seat post and that is uh, why it is still loose I don't know but it is annoying and to be honest so far that uh, saddle isn't sitting great but I only took a ride for maybe five or six kilometers so far so I will definitely have to do a bit more sitting on this uh, saddle before it has been whipped in, uh, into shape. Alright, I'll tighten this up and then I can uh, continue. Alright, I'm rolling again. Let's hope this is not happening for a third time. Although I just hit a bump and the uh, saddle didn't move. So that's promising. But it... Uh, well, 
it started to feel like uh, that problem I had a while back on my uh, gazelle bicycle. I could keep uh, turning the uh, the nut and the uh, saddle was getting loose all the time. But that was on a, uh, a chinesium saddle. And what was happening, the uh, the saddle lock strap clamp whatever was uh, denting the uh, seat post so that's a bit of a challenge I'm not going to go for that probably not the uh, the best route for handheld filming also, I cannot see the screen because of the uh, sun. It is already getting a bit uh, low. And, well, it's maybe five o'clock in the afternoon. So, yeah, the days are getting shorter. It's too bad the uh, summer is almost over. Well, actually, the summer is already over. I guess uh, these are the early stages of the uh, autumn. Finally some shade. I can see something on screen. Well the uh, camera battery is almost empty because it is uh, starting to blink. So I will have to keep this short. Maybe uh, till the end of the uh, dirt road. Surface is getting a bit smoother here. And so far, the saddle hasn't moved. Hit a pothole. Guess I'm trying to film her. Hopefully the uh, battery will last till the end of the dirt road, which isn't uh, very far from here. Actually, there it is. Oh no, not yet. But this is tarmac, so I'm going to uh, put the camera away for now. After the battery had a bit of a rest, let's run it dry. Maybe it will surprise me. Pretty clouds. Ah, there's the path that I want to take over that bridge. I believe it's a uh, relatively new addition to the uh, cycleways the uh, battery status indicator is starting to blink again oh this is a pretty long and 
relatively boring route. Well, at some point the battery will just cut out and there won't be a uh, nice ending to this video. Maybe I'll make it to that uh, bend up ahead, but maybe not. Not a lot of uh, blackberries today. Maybe uh, somebody uh, took them and made the jam. They do taste uh, nice. All right. I guess it's uh, back on the uh, asphalt. against the wind so the audio recording will suck hey. Hi. very agriculture around here meaning I smell dung and I know there are worse poor smells but it isn't really pleasant that was a cool chimney must be really bad by now Anybody want to take a dump? is lasting longer than I expected. And I did just uh, buy a new uh, SD card, so plenty of recording space. I guess we're going to cross the same canal again. Wow. 
flying lawnmowers. Not sure if I got it on camera. Yeah, I want to go right here. Anyone want to take a rest? Hello. I made it back inside the old barn and I think that was almost 30 kilometers maybe even more and I'm kind of glad it's over because I can definitely feel my ass a bit but the uh, saddle did make a uh, squeaking noise and for a while I actually thought it was coming from the bottom bracket but it is uh, the saddle and I'm hoping that if I uh, tension it a bit, at some point that squeaking noise will just go away. So that should be enough for the uh, coming years. Um, well, I had a nice ride, but there was a bit of a noise or tick. Or, well, I felt something coming from the uh, left. Well, I think it was the left crank arm. It might be the pedal, although that's spinning nice, and I don't believe it. It's the cutter pin that is loose, but there might be some play in the bottom bracket. So it's probably a good idea to uh, take this all apart somewhere in the uh, next winter. All right. Now this video is more than long enough, so bye for now.